What does Wolverine's return to Marvel Comics mean for the MCU? Marvel's legacy events swung into comic book shops this week, promising to take all of your favorite characters back to their OG status quo. Cap is no longer a Nazi. Sorry, sorry, Hydra agent. Why do we keep screwing that up? Deadpool is a bad guy yet again, and Riri Williams is on the search for her mentor, Tony Stark, presumably so that he can step into his old iron suit one more time. But the one character who is truly going back to his old self is Wolverine. Specifically, he's going back to his old living self. Regular Logan has been dead for a while now in Marvel Comics continuity, having gotten buried alive in a tidal wave of molten adamantium at the end of the Death of Wolverine arc a few years back. But it seems rumors of Wolverine's death were greatly exaggerated, as Jean Grey recently discovered his liquidy metal grave cut open from the inside out. Of course, what we're wondering is how, if at all, the events in the comics might affect the big screen action of the MCU. The Marvel Legacy event is giving the company a chance to do some interesting things with characters that they've lost the film rights to, as we reported on earlier in the week when we found out that one of Fox's most popular characters, Deadpool, would be going back to his old villainous ways. In that story, we theorized that his turn to the dark side could be an attempt to ruin his reputation and make it harder for filmgoers to accept him as a good guy. After all, it's well known that Marvel Comics has been less than kind to some of the characters that they can't make movies out of anymore, and it's pretty much why they killed Wolverine and disbanded the Fantastic Four in the first place. But could the resurrection of Wolverine actually be evidence of a Marvel that's looking to play nice with Fox? Now that Hugh Jackman is done with his iconic 17-year run as the character, everyone knows that it's only a matter of time before somebody else steps into his claws. But with the current X-Men franchise still going, they really can't introduce anyone new into the role without really screwing with continuity. And sure, X-Fans have put up with a fair share of screwing with continuity in the past, but getting them to accept somebody else as Logan in those movies could be a bridge too far. So that means they'll need to introduce a new Wolverine in a new continuity, or maybe a pre-existing continuity that doesn't have its own Wolverine just yet, like say, the MCU. Please stop. And yes, it is a pretty big stretch, but as we always point out in these kinds of stories, Spider-Man joining the MCU also seemed like a pretty big stretch, until it wasn't. And of course, the truth might be that while reintroducing Wolverine to the comics could be a move on Marvel's part to show Fox that they're willing to play nice, Wolverine may not be the character that they're ultimately after. The Fantastic Four, and two, is also returning for the Marvel Legacy event, and given Fox's disastrous last attempt with them, it's much more likely that they'd be willing to partner with Marvel on that property for a Homecoming-esque deal. But what do you folks think? Is Wolverine really just a pawn in Marvel's bigger game, or could they really be making a play to bring him into the MCU? Let's discuss. And if you like this story, be sure to like and subscribe, and while you're at it, check out my new show, Bizarre States Los Angeles. Andrew Bowser and I dig into all of the weirdness that surrounds the city of LA. We worked really hard on it and are super, super proud of it. So please check it out. You can do that right now over at projectalpha.com. Be sure to use the promo code BIZARRE to get 60 free days.